Good time to be a Philly, and the three-year-old Phillies are coming up with their own race right now. Casey Coleman trains Western Silk, one of the contenders for the big prize money and for the Breeders' Crown coming up, standing by right now with our Heather Mock. Hey, guys. Yeah, I have to start off this interview by saying I'm a huge Casey Coleman fan, so I'm pretty psyched. This is my first interview with her, and you had a huge night at Mohawk recently, right? Uh, yeah, when we had six wins in one night consecutive, that was a pretty big night. It was pretty sweet, that's for sure. Oh, that's so awesome. Tonight you've got Western Silken. Now, she's hit the board every start but in her elimination. So what happened last week? Last week's the first time I've ever been disappointed with this filly. She always gives 100%, and I don't know whether to say, like last week, it just I'm kind of baffled a little bit myself. Uh, I thought she'd scope worse than she did. She didn't scope that bad. I thought her blood would be worse than it was. Her blood was pretty good. Um, really, I don't have a 100% answer for what happened last week. She had a long first over grind. Uh, she did come home 27-2, and two, so it's not like she was horrendous, but she definitely wasn't herself. But uh, tonight, she warmed up like herself. She's been great all week, and uh, we got the eight hole to battle with, but she seems good. Well, that's super. She warmed up great. Yeah, the eight hole, though, the last time you were in a huge race like this, over $500,000, she left like a rocket out of the eight hole, cut the mile. Tonight, is she going to leave? Can she leave? I really don't know. That's obviously up to Mark McDonald. Um, I kind of think he might maybe be leaning that way. Uh, eight hole, it seems, over this track. We don't know this track well, but it seems like coming from off the pace really isn't all that much of an option at Pocono. Um, so eight hole, she did it once before gate to wire. What kind of trip she's going to go, I don't know. I just hope she's the first one there at the wire. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show. It was so nice meeting you, and um, good luck tonight. Thank you. I'll tell Back you what, you when, uh, when Heather came down here a little earlier, Steve, with those gloves on, I knew it was a fashion <laughs> statement, but now I wish I had them on. It's 48 degrees, but the action has been hot on a fast track. And put on a show is uh, one of the contenders here as we head towards the $500,000 for a three to five favorite yeah. now. Wow. Odds on always fires the big shot. Yeah, that's one of the favorites, I'd say. Yeah, yeah I would three say. Three five. Big time. 11 for 13 this year. Had one bad, only one bad race, one time off the board. It was an aberration. It happened when she finished sixth in a race, recently came back and has been undefeated since. And there she is. And she is one quick pacing machine with Timmy Tietrick on the bike. Got everything going for her. Hey, She's the horse to beat. You know, we've had a couple of upsets already here, and it goes to the quality of the field, as we mentioned. But Kane Kami, the number one horse at 11 to 1, is 4 for 4 yeah. on this track. Now let's pick it up live and enjoy the three year old paces. Here's our picks, and let's see how it rolls out. $500,000 and another Breeders' Crown trophy at stake. And we welcome our viewers on Comcast, MAV TV, and locally on WVIA TV, Channel 44. The Pacers have reached the back stretch, and we are underway. And a fast start on the outside here for Rock and Soul. She's gunning early, and she's out here by about a length and a half. Outside Western Silk positions herself well in the pocket, followed there by put on a show third past the eighth mile marker. Inside fourth now. There's Kenny Cami higher and higher in tight behind that, followed by Northwest Hanover. It's Hula Z Tam seventh at the back of the pack here. Naughty till the end. And Penagler is the trailer. The quarter 27 even. And up front here, Rock and Soul. The Anik Jingra was aggressive in the early going. Here goes, put on a show. She's not waiting around. Tim Tietrich pushes the button and put on a show. Steps on by right there at the 3 8 pole. Rock and Soul is back to second, followed by Western Silk third. Then you've got Can A Cami yet to make her move. Higher and higher around that turn fifth. She's going to the outside. Hula Z Tam follows inside Northwest Hanover. At the back, Naughty till the end in the trailer. Penagler, the half 55 and 1. 28 and 1, second panel. Nasty bit of pacing on the front end here now for a put on a show. Her lead is about a length. Rock and Soul has worked out the pocket trip and she's content to stay there. First over move there for Kenny, Cami, and Pierce. She's within a length and three quarters. Boxed in there, fourth is McDonald with Western Silk. After that, higher and higher, Northwest Hanover. Three quarters, 122 and 2. 27 and 1 there, hung up on the backside. It's put on a show. She She's out front by a link, still lurking in the pocket. Rock and Soul, Kenny Cami is fading third. Top of the stretch, put on a show. Now Tietra going to work. Rock and Soul out of the pocket is chasing and gaining. Put on a show, trying to hold off Rock and Soul. Put on a show to the line. Put on a show. Hangs on for Tim Tietrick. 
Rock and Soul gave her everything she could handle. Second, Western Soul third, Can A Cami fourth, and put on a show. She does not disappoint in 150 and one fifth. Pocono down track announcer Jim Bailey on a very exciting call, Steve. Yeah. Boy, she was just awesome. And she, you know, got a the, the six horse got a perfect trip. Rock and Soul sat in the two hole, which is a, which is a perfect the garden spot in the sport. But she was just watch her on the turn. You could see that Tim Tietrich was sitting like a statue, that chilly in the bike. He had a ton of horse under him on the lead, and he just set her down at the top of the lane. Watch this. He, he hits her a couple of times. And now Yannick Girock comes out of the two hole with Rock and Soul, takes dead aim on her, and they're going to go to the wire together, but they're not going to get the queen of three year old Phillies put on a show. Woo. Nice job. There he is, Tim Tietrich, and put on a show who has just won for the 12th time in 14 starts, Lou, in 2010. A uh, classy champion at three to five. We'll have the final results and talk with the winners from the winner's circle. When we come back, it's the Breeders' Crown from Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs, and it's live. And welcome back to the Breeders' Crown from Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs. It's put on a show. Uh, the official winner now at three dollars two forty and two ten in our twelfth race or rather our eleventh race of the night and greg blanchard takes us through with his analysis of the big win and uh, i think the key moment in the race guys came very early uh, tim t trick very confident in his charge and why not put on a show she got away third here's the winning move Tietrich uh, not content to sit in third spot. He has his filly on the move here in the second quarter of the race. And once she clears to the front, he's able to control the pace from here on in. Western Silk sat at the inside, uh, third at this point. You see her tipping out in fourth, uh, but the horse she comes out behind is starting to tire, so that backs her up. In the meantime, Tietrich uh, gets a couple of lengths on the field here. And from there, it's put on a shell, winning her fifth consecutive and she is the star of the division and young driver Tim Tietrich scoring his second Breeders' Crown of the night, guys. Owner Richard Young's put a ton of money into the sport and it's nice to see him get a home run horse here and put on a show. Thanks, Greg. Final results, as we said, official put on a show, then Rock and Soul and Western Silk. Pretty good payoff for Rock and Soul, Steve. Absolutely. Played 10 20 in the middle, 480 to show, and the 3 6 exact to 30 40. The try was pretty good with a 1 to 2 shot on top. 3 6 8, 152 bucks and 60 cents. And the Super, 3 6 8, 1, 593 dollars, and that ain't chopped liver, Lou. Hmm. You buy a lot of chopped liver for that. Back now to Heather Moffat down in the winner's circle. Hey, guys. I am here with the co owner, Richard Young. And is it true you almost sold her at one point? Uh, yes, it is true. Uh, I have a tendency with a quick trigger, and uh, she was training well as a two-year-old, and then uh, suddenly for uh, two, three weeks, she wasn't going well, and normally I'd just get rid of them at that time, but no one would take her. <laughs> oh, well, gosh, I, I know it's a different deal right now. Now, she, I believe, is the richest filly in history. That's, uh, I believe that's right. Now, that means that she can make a big contribution to a charity called A Spring of Hope, which you are very, very close to. Oh, uh, well, I, I, I would say I'm as, as close to it as possible. My daughter started a, a charity uh, named The Spring of Hope. Um, we build wells in South Africa for uh, kids that have no water in their schools. Uh, recently won a grant from uh, Chase for $130,000 to uh, help build wells. And anyone who's interested in looking, look up uh, springahope.org. That is awesome. It's an awesome plug, an awesome organization. Thank you so much. I'm sending it over to Greg Blanchard. All right, a huge.